Hello, cellists. What I'm going to show you now is a little bit of a, a it's a, a quick lesson on some things that you got to pay attention to in a whole new world. All right. Um, to start, um, I'm going to show you basically the notes that we're going to be playing, the scale. You're in the key of C. You have no sharps, no consistent sharps, no repeatable sharps. So no accidentals, we call that. So um, I'm not going to show you the whole scale. I'm just going to show you the notes that you're going to use. Okay, you're going to start on the on the G string. So that's one, zero, one, three, four. That's one, two, four. finger on the G string, a second finger on the D and the A string. So second finger on the D and the A and third finger on the G string. Um, really important. I don't want you guys mixing that up. Okay, so it, it starts out pretty simple. And the first four measures are pretty easy. So... <laughs> So here you have a C sharp on the G string. That C sharp, you have to play it as an extension of the fourth finger. Basically what you have to do is you have to stretch your fourth finger all the way down here. But it's sometimes, I don't think of it as a stretch as a fourth finger because what you're doing is actually you're separating your second, first and second finger. And you can actually lower most of your hand Keep your first finger in the first in, in the in the in the first position on that first note. Lower your second finger to where it gets to the second line. Put your third finger on the third line, and then your fourth finger is going to go right above it. And you're going to get that C sharp over there. So that measure five is going to sound like this. So. B, that second finger, remember I said how you're gonna play the, how you're gonna lower your second finger to where it goes to the second line instead of keeping it up here right next to it? You're gonna lower it down like that. That second finger right over there, that's where you're gonna play the B. Although normally, I, I showed you in the beginning, the B is supposed to be played with the third finger. Yes, it is. But since we're playing that C sharp, you're going to use your second finger to get it. That's the way it works. And it's a lot easier in the long run, if you ask me. So that measure five, again, slowly. <laughs> then in measure six, the, uh, the C is natural again. So instead of playing the C sharp, you're gonna go back to where you played it before. <laughs> C sharp with the B in the second finger, C natural with the B on the third finger. All right, I hope you guys got that. That is by far the most difficult thing about this piece. Besides that, you guys can get most of it. The rhythm is tricky. If you have any questions about the rhythm, I'm not gonna get into it. So if you uh, have any questions about the rhythm, listen to the music, okay? Aladdin, that's where it is, all right? Hey, good luck. If you have any questions, let me know.